Okay. First this week is going to be Sigil Online Bastions, written by Jeff Sproul. This is the third book in this series, and it's the last one for now. It is 478 pages, $3.99. It is available on Kindle Limited. And here's the author's description. What if the death of one game meant the death of all? A terrible entity has consumed the game known as Mage World Online. But now that all the virtual online worlds are connected, this monstrous hive mind turns its sights to other games. It will take every power and friend that Riley can pr- recruit to defeat this new insurmountable menace. Because if he can't stop it in Sigil Online, it will consume everything in its path. Warning, this novel may cause an uncontrollable desire to play superhero MMOs. Uh, so there you go. So Bastions is the final finale to the Sigil Online trilogy. So, um, full disclosure, I received advanced copy for review. Um, I purchased a copy when it became available. This is, again, the third book in the superhero MMO Little Bitty story. Uh, and it adds some nice space building elements combined with a Zerg-like invasion. Uh, the Hermes requires a little bit of a suspension of disbelief with a threat coming to the superhero world from a fantasy MMO via a magical portal. Uh, the author tries to justify this by describing all that all these MMOs are being built in the same architectural code, uh, thus allowing for this to occur. Um, and honestly, I just had to do it because it bugged me. I'm like, oh, that doesn't make sense. But um, even just speaking to the author for a little bit, I was like, oh, okay, he, I understand where he's coming from theoretically. Um, and the threat was interesting enough to kind of push past that little, little tiny issue with me um on the game mechanic side the base building is a big part of the story and it's described pretty well um i as an update to the new game um but i really enjoyed how the resource gathering schematics and 3d printers within the game kind of gave um the hero side of things a a kind of sci-fi vibe uh and how they how they um upgraded their buildings and produced minions uh to like defend the base and everything that was kind of neat and it was kind of a, a distinct contrast to how the other entity, um, the, the Zerg like entity created their bases and created their minions, which is a lot more organic with excretions and drones and a high mind and taking over and copying other, other elements. Um, so it was a nice little contrast during, um, there are, is some, still some RPG Russian in here with some new equipment, newly borrowed powers and upgraded abilities. Um, so all that stuff is there. This, this series on the whole has always been a little lighter on, on that aspect though. Um, overall though, this is a pretty good expansion in a series that I've already enjoyed and it ends in an interesting place that serves as a place to pause the series, um, or to leave room for some very new stories. Um, how far me, I had a good time reading it. That's generally what I look for in a little bit of story that I had a good time and I did have a good time. I, I, I usually enjoyed, um, this, uh, this series, mostly because it, it's a little bit different in that it does do superhero stuff and there aren't a lot of, um, stories that even though there are MMOs, uh, MMORPGs with superhero themes, they're quite a good good few popular ones. So I was always surprised that nobody ever took that up in this direction. So this is one of the few and I always enjoy it. So for me, it gets a score of 7.5 out of 10, a real solid middle of the road kind of enjoyment. Uh, that's Sigil Online Bastions with a score of 7.5 out of 10.